name is Sandy. Bedbugs have become a common pest in homes, whether the home is immaculate or full with clutter. It has become a major concern to health workers who visit client homes to provide healthcare services. A major concern for healthcare workers is accidentally bringing bedbugs to their own homes or the homes of other clients. Today, I'm going to introduce some basics about bedbugs and some simple steps you can take to prevent and control them. Adult bed bugs are brown, wingless insects, approximately a quarter inch in size, while the juvenile phases, or nymphs, are much lighter in color and can be as small as a pinhead. Before feeding, both adults and immature bed bugs are very flat. After feeding, they become swollen and the color changes to a dark red color and have been described as animated blood drops. An adult female bed bug typically lays approximately one egg per day. Their eggs are white and about the shape of a grain of rice. They are often found along seams or crevices of furniture, walls, mattresses, etc. and in approximately 7 to 10 days will hatch into nymphs. As they grow, bedbugs shed their skin five times before turning into adults. Bedbugs can breed all year round when a host is present and typically have three to six generations per year. The average lifespan of the bed bug can range from a few months to a little over a year. Bed bugs feed only on blood but can readily survive without feeding for two to three months or longer at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. Under normal circumstances, bed bugs typically hide during the day and become active during the night, feeding upon their host while they lay sleeping. Once they have fed, they retreat back to their secretive hiding places. Although mostly active at night, it is possible to see bed bugs during the day, especially if their host is not present during the nighttime hours or when infestations become severe. Bed bugs can bite anywhere on the body, but most feed on areas exposed during sleep, such as the neck, arms, and hands. It is not uncommon for bites to appear in clusters or rows. They will feed every two to three days when a host is present. Bed bugs are not known to transmit any diseases between humans or other animals, but their bites can cause a wide range of symptoms. The most common symptoms are itchy welts, which in some cases can also be painful. The intensity and duration of these symptoms vary greatly among people. Scratching the bite sites may cause secondary infections. Sometimes people will not develop any bite symptoms until they have been bitten repeatedly, while others, especially the elderly, may never develop any bite symptoms at all. For this reason, a client's self-report is not a reliable method to determine if a home has bed bugs. Soon after feeding, they excrete liquid fecal materials. The dark brown to black fecal spots are telltale signs of bed bug activity. Bed bugs prefer to live close to their food source in areas where they are not likely to be seen or disturbed and are usually distributed on or around beds, sofas, or other furniture where people spend long periods of time sitting or resting. They also prefer to live in cracks or crevices or along edges that offer protection. As bed bug population size grows larger, the bed bugs may be more scattered in a home, making the treatment very difficult. It is difficult for bed bugs to crawl on some smooth, hard surfaces such as metal, glass, and plastic. Therefore, they like to stay on surfaces with texture that enable them to get around easier. Fabric and unpainted wood are two of the most preferred surfaces where they are found in homes. Bed bugs are spread to new locations primarily by human activities. Bringing an infested furniture to a home is a common way of spreading the insect from one location to another. Travelers or new tenants may accidentally bring bugs to a new place with their infested luggage. Visitors can pick up bed bugs when staying with friends and relatives. Occupants of infested homes can spread bed bugs as they go about their daily activities, resulting in transfer of bed bugs from their home to public transportation, places of work, medical facilities, etc. In multi-occupancy settings, like apartments, bed bugs can actively disperse to neighboring units traveling down common hallways or using other pathways associated with common walls. The higher the population density of bed bugs in a unit, the more likely they will disperse into hallways and neighboring units. Therefore, it is often a good idea to inspect the adjoining units in a multi-unit dwelling once an infestation is found. The most important thing to know 
is that accidental transfer of bed bugs from an infested dwelling is extremely low if you follow some simple common sense rules. In this section, we will discuss how to detect if bed bug activity exists, common sense steps to protect yourself from bed bugs, and effective non-chemical strategies to control bed bugs. Bed bug infestations in homes are commonly identified by one or more of the following methods. Interviews with clients, visual inspection, and the use of bed bug monitoring devices. Interviewing people can provide valuable insight regarding the infestation history, possible sources of the bed bugs, and the extent of the infestation. Examples of the interview questions are, do you have any reason to suspect bed bug activity in your home? Do you feel bed bug bites or see any evidence of bed bugs? When did you first notice bed bugs? Did you visit places with known bed bug infestations recently? Who has visited your residence in the last few weeks? People's reactions to bed bug bites vary. Therefore, interviews are not always reliable. So it is best to also conduct a visual inspection to confirm the presence or absence of bed bugs. A visual inspection is a simple method for identifying infestations. Evidence of bed bug infestations include live or dead bugs, shed skins, eggs, and fecal spotting. Wearing gloves and using a flashlight aid inspection. It is important to follow a logical pattern and inspect thoroughly. Starting with the bed, first check the four corners of the bed linens and the pillowcases for signs of bed bugs. Then, check the corners and seams of the mattress, box springs, and corners of your bed frame. Personal items placed near or under the bed also need to be checked. Check the seams of the sofa, paying special attention to areas beneath the arms of the sofa, beneath the skirting along the bottom, along piping and buttons, as well as the underside, where the dust cover is stapled into the framework and where the legs attach. Wheelchairs that are frequently used should also be inspected carefully, as well as any furniture that the resident spends a lot of time resting in, such as a recliner or a kitchen chair. During their early developmental stages, bed bugs can be difficult to see because of their small size. In addition, other insects can also appear in the monitors. For this reason, using a handheld magnifying glass will help in correctly identifying if bugs are present. If you are uncertain if you are looking at a bed bug or some other pest, a sample should be collected and examined by an individual trained to properly identify bed bugs. Very low level infestations may be difficult to detect by visual inspection. Installing interception devices under the legs of bed frames and upholstered furniture is a more effective method to detect low level bed bug infestations than visual inspection alone. You may buy interceptors from pest control supply vendors or amazon.com. Use of interceptors is also helpful to determine if an active infestation exists when evidence such as fecal spotting and shed skins are found but no live bed bugs have been detected. The outside of the interceptors are rough to allow bed bugs to climb up. The interior surfaces of the interceptors are smooth. Once bed bugs fall in the interceptors, they cannot get out. After installing the interceptors, pull the bed and sofa away from the walls so bed bugs cannot migrate between the furniture and floor through the walls. The interceptors need to be left in place until no bed bugs have been captured for several weeks. In most circumstances, the likelihood that you will accidentally take bed bugs with you in a home with a low level infestation is extremely low, especially if you follow some simple and basic precautions which will be discussed later. When working in an infested location, the following practices are recommended. Limit what you bring into the home. Do not place any items on or near beds or upholstered furniture. Instead, place them in an area that is less likely to have bed bug activity. The best solution is to have a plastic storage bin designated to keep your personal belongings in while you are in the home. Avoid sitting, leaning, or brushing against beds and upholstered furniture. If possible, bring a hard surface chair or plastic stool. Do not wear accessories such as scarves. Conduct a visual inspection of your clothing and belongings upon leaving the work area. If you find a bed bug on yourself, do not freak out. Use a wet wipe, a piece of tape, or lint roller to capture the insect, sealing it tightly inside a plastic bag or container for later identification. Have a change of clothing that you can change into if you are in a home that has obvious signs of bed bugs. 
If you are repeatedly visiting infested homes, healthcare workers can protect themselves and other clients with the following suggested containment kit. A portable hard surface chair or stool, a fanny pack for holding personal items like your identification, cell phone, or gloves, a plastic storage container with a sealed lid that is large enough to contain the following, change of clothes and shoes, disposable gloves, roll of clear tape or lint roller, small plastic bags, large heavy-duty plastic garbage bags, flashlight, container of wet wipes like antibacterial, clipboard, paper, and pens. If you find bed bugs on your clothing or feel bites, change into clean clothes and bag all the items that you brought in and seal tightly. Bagged clothing can be laundered in hot water or placed in a dryer on a hot dry cycle for at least 20 minutes. Shoes or other small items that cannot be laundered but can be exposed to freezing temperatures or temperatures in excess of 140 degrees Fahrenheit may be placed in a household freezer for three to four days, placed in a portable heat chamber, or treated using a steam machine. Other steps you can take in your own home to aid in early detection of bed bugs should they be introduced include encasing your mattresses and box springs in bed bug proof encasements, install interceptors under the legs of beds and upholstered furniture, keep your car free of clutter, vacuum it weekly, and inspect it periodically for bed bug presence. If bed bugs are found in an apartment, it is important to treat as soon as possible. You can eliminate bed bugs safely and easily if the infestation has just started. Waiting for weeks or even months without implementing any treatment will make it much more difficult to eliminate the bed bugs. Remove visible bed bugs on mattresses and box springs using clear tape or a lint roller and seal tightly in a heavy duty plastic bag for disposal in an outdoor trash receptacle. Install encasements to the mattress and box spring. This will trap any bed bugs that were not removed, reduce potential harborage sites, and make treatment easier. Both fabric and plastic zippered mattresses and casements are useful. Although plastic encasements are not as comfortable and durable as the fabric encasements, they offer a much more affordable option. Applying steam from a steamer is an effective method to treat bed bugs. Concentrate on the seams, corners, and cracks on furniture and walls around the bed and sofa. The steamer should be moved at approximately one inch per second to properly kill all bed bugs and eggs on contact. The mattress and box spring may need to be lifted to treat the bed frame. Bed bugs may drop to the floor during the process. It is advised to apply steam to the floor after treating the furniture. Repeat the treatment a few times in areas where signs of activity continue to exist. Reducing clutter around beds and upholstered furniture is very important. Personal items on, under, or within several feet of infested beds or upholstered furniture are at high risk for having bed bug activity. First, divide the items into those your client wishes to save and those they wish to discard. Items to be discarded can be sealed tightly in a heavy duty trash bag and discarded in a trash receptacle outside the home. Items they wish to save can be dealt with in one of the following ways. Clothing and other items that can be laundered can be placed in either a hot wash or hot dry cycle for 30 minutes. Items that are not needed anytime soon can be bagged and left sealed for six months. Once items have been de-infested of bed bugs, they should be stored in a sealed plastic container and kept in a location away from sleeping and resting areas. You can monitor the treatment results by conducting visual inspections every one to two weeks and checking the interceptors placed under the furniture legs. The interceptors need to be cleaned if they become dirty. Remember, asking the client if they have felt bites is not a reliable method of confirming bed bug absence. A combination of visual inspection and using interceptors is the most reliable method to determine if live bed bugs are present. Bed bugs have become a common pest and difficult to find when their numbers are very small. Healthcare workers need to be vigilant when visiting clients. Learning how to inspect bed bugs and some simple non-chemical treatment methods will help detect bed bugs early, save cost, solve problems immediately, and avoid spreading to other locations. Using a combination of different non-chemical tools can eliminate bed bugs without the need to hire a professional or using insecticides. 
These simple tools and methods include placing bed bug interceptors and conducting visual inspections regularly, frequent laundering of bed linens, installing mattress encasements, applying steam, decluttering, placing infested items in a portable heat chamber. Remember that frequent inspection is the key to finding bed bugs early and ensuring bed bugs are eliminated after inspection. Thanks for watching.